Hey, hello, this is Andrea, and today is Tuesday, the 17th of May, 2022. I'm glad you're here with me, and uh, today it's windy outside in southeastern Pennsylvania. It was raining yesterday, and we did have a little bit of hail. Uh, and then I look out in the backyard and I see a million things I need to do. <laughs> So I guess it's been a while. I kind of put off doing my video. I was in a lot of pain yesterday. I was having hip pain and back pain. And um, yeah, so what did I do this weekend? Saturday morning, Bob and I and our middle son went to our favorite diner and had breakfast. I don't remember what we did at night. May I think we just came home. And then Sunday, we went to see my friend. She just got her new home. And uh, we went to visit her and see her cats. And we had some pizza with her. Pizza and salad and cannolis. I didn't have any of the cannolis, but Bob and she had some cannolis. I'm not a big fan of cannolis. Not all Italians like cannolis. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Uh, anyway. <laughs> why am I so giggly today? I had some weird dreams last night. I had this dream that my dad was on the phone with my sister. My sister's birthday was yesterday. And I should let you know that my dad passed away several years ago. So my dad was on the phone with my sister and I kept thinking, when are, when are they going to stop? When is he going to stop talking? My sister wasn't talking. She was just listening. So. <laughs> oh, so I think, I think David M. asked me, is something wrong with my brain? That's a loaded question. <laughs> There's been something wrong with my brain my whole life. And a lot of times I've been misdiagnosed for stuff, so. In fact, I've had CAT scans and MRIs throughout my whole life for my brain. Um, I have a kind of, um, what is that where you have seizures? Hey, Bob. What's it called when you have seizures? Epilepsy. Epilepsy. I have I have focal seizures. Tell my epilepsy joke. No, I'm not gonna tell. If you want to tell your epilepsy joke, you gotta come out here and do no, it. No, I gotta work. Is it? No, it's because it's tasteless. It's not because you have work. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I have these focal seizures that are like right here. They're in the. They're in the, um, my right, my right temporal lobe. And, um, it's not the kind where my whole body would shake. Like, if I'm having a seizure, I wouldn't know it, but people around me would just see me staring. Like, I would just be staring like this. And I would be very still, which is unusual for me, because as you see, I move around a lot, so. And sometimes I would lose time when this would happen. Well, I haven't had a seizure in a while because I'm on anti-seizure medicine that I take twice a day. And you have to take it at exact times. It has to be exactly 12 hours apart. So I have an alarm that goes off on my phone. Anyway, about a month or so ago, I don't know how long it's been now. I'd have to look at my calendar. I have a calendar where I keep track of different symptoms that I have. Anyway... I was having visual problems, visual interruptions. I don't know what you would call it. I was seeing double of things. It wouldn't happen all the time, just occasionally. It was usually light. I would see double of lights above and below. You know what I mean? It would be like if it was a, if it was a, a stoplight, if it was like a red light, there'd be a red light and a red light. 
and then I'd close one eye and see, like to see if it's in both eyes. It was in both eyes, so that usually means that it's in the brain, because if it's in the eye, it would be in one eye. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, okay? And then I was having this thing where sometimes when I'd wake up, everything would look like it's right in front of me, like a picture. Like, say, the dresser and the... Say there's... So I'm laying in bed, and there's a nightstand and a dresser and my husband's pillow and the wall, but it would all look like a flat... Like, it's all right next to each other, right in front of me, like a collage. Like, this close to my face. And then it would jump back. So I was telling the neurologist about this, and she said she wanted me to have another uh, MRI because the last MRI I had was like four years ago. So they want to see if anything changed in my brain. That's that's what it is. So so I haven't had that yet. It's going to be next week. The last time I had one, I had a dead spot where apparently I've had a. Um, uh, what is that called? Stroke. A stroke. That's why I have trouble with words sometimes because I had it in the spot that's for verbal language. Um, and I also have a scar on my brain. Just one. So they want to see if there's more scars on my brain, basically. So that is what the MRI is for. I don't know if that means they would put me on some more medicine or what it means, but anyway, that's what's going on with that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so honest about this stuff. Honestly, I just don't think, I guess because I want, if other people are going through the same things, it's nice for them to know what's going on or whatever. I've got some issues. I've got some medical issues that you can't tell by looking at me that I have medical issues. So I think that that's a good, or maybe you can, maybe you meet me and you're like, this, this girl has some medical issues. <laughs> but anyway... Um, I think it's nice to be aware that there are people out there who have disabilities that you cannot see. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah. So, anyway, that's what's going on with me. <laughs> so, yeah, I have, I have that set up for next week. I have to get lab work done first. So I, fi I finally got through to my neurologist and they set up the lab work for me so it says to get it two days before the MRI so I think my MRI is on Wednesday next week so I have to get the lab work done on Monday and I'm still working on that afghan that I've been working on for Bob it's really slow going I'm trying to do two rows a day but I can't always do two rows a day See, this is the thing. Years ago, when I was starting to have a lot of pain in my joints, I had gone from crocheting all the time to, well, at first I was really depressed and I stopped crocheting. And then I decided I'll just do a little bit, like whatever I feel like doing, because slow and steady wins the race. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> so now I just do it that way, but... It'll get done eventually, you know? And, uh, yeah. Bob and I have been watching Severance, which is on Apple TV, I think. And we're three episodes in, so don't tell me anything. <laughs> but I like, it's got, it's got a lot of interesting actors in it, so. And it's a different kind of story. It's like... I don't know if you've heard of it before, but it's basically, there's this procedure called severance where for some jobs they can, in this story, it's like sci-fi, they can put this thing in your brain and it, um, it makes it so you have two different lives. You have the life where you're at home, where you're outside the building, where you're outside of the severed floor. And as soon as you hit the severed floor, you have a whole different life. So the two... 
sides can't tell each other anything like anything that happens at work that part of you only knows that like when you leave the building you don't know what you did at work all day and when you come into the building and and are working you don't know who you are on the outside so it's interesting you know it's got interesting moral implications and the psychology of it is interesting too like the way they talk differently on the inside like the people that are handling them the supervisors and stuff they talk certain ways in order I guess to keep them obedient and trying to be inspired to be there it's in a basement so you can't you don't see the sky you don't see plants or anything like that and like they weirdly incentivize different things <laughs> you have to see it to know what I'm talking about but it's interesting as long as it doesn't have any time travel in it we, we should be good so or multi-dimension or multi-dimensions as Bob says but um what else what else Anyway, I guess that's all I got for today. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.